Welcome back everybody, this is Spotlight Guy from AC Syndicate TV and today I'm going to show you how to download and install the Dalenet 0003 out of memory rooted ROM. It is a stock ROM and uh, there's only a couple of modifications to it and that's the fact that it does have fast boot and it has clockwork mod. Also like the title says it's out of memory or OOM which means that you'll have faster transitions from screen to screen and uh, it just optimizes the way o the OS handles memory. So basically all you're going to need is the ADB drivers installed on your computer and if you don't have those yet I will provide a link on how to do that and where to download them in the description of this video. Uh, and once that's installed you uh, just need your rooted Toshiba Thrive and uh, yet again, if you need a uh, if you need to have root, then I'll ha I'll provide how tos on that in the description of this video as well. I have two different kinds of videos depending what OS uh, or build you are running. I am currently on. I'll show you right now. Zero 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 three. Try to zoom in right there a little bit. Yeah, build number zero 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 three. I just rooted it last night, as you uh, probably saw from my video I uploaded this morning on how to root your 0003 uh, Toshiba Thrive. So, uh, as, long as, you, as long as you guys are ready, let's get down to it. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is to click on the ROM link in the description of this video. and It'll take you to the Toshiba Thrive forums. This is from Dale PL. He's a huge developer for the Thrive and uh, just a big uh, contributor for this community so make sure you thank him and uh, if you go past all these directions and change logs you'll get to the download section and you're going to click and uh, click on this link right here this is the very first one it says OOM rooted ROM version 1.4 so you're going to click on it and then save file as you can see there's some other links right here like the SD card write patch your uh, Shiva kernel, it's a custom kernel for this. Your rooted boot image and GPS fix by country and continent. Uh, I'm not going to go through any of these. Like this is just uh, for, obviously for your SD card, this is a custom kernel. So it'll boost things a little faster. Uh, and then you have your boot image and your GPS fix. Uh, if you want to do those, go for it. Uh, it's not going to be covered in this tutorial. If you would like me to cover in a future tutorial, let me know and I will do that. Alright, but right now we're just going to stay basic. We're just going to go with the ROM. So it looks like it's taken a little while to load up. So we're just going to have to sit back and wait. Alright, so once your ROM is downloaded and you navigate to the folder wherever it went, then you're going to see that it's going to be, you're going to see something like this. It is a compressed zip folder. It's going to say Dalenet Thrive and a bunch of other things, rooted ROM version 1.4. You're going to right click it, go to 7-zip and extract here or extract wherever you'd like to. And you see you have a readme and a update uh, compressed zip folder. What you're going to need to do is take your SD card and hook it up or put it into your computer. Uh, once that uh, connects, then you're going to open up your SD card. And then, sorry, this is a old thing I had on there. Alright, then you're going to take the update compressed zip folder, uh, right click it, either cut or copy. I copy mine because I like to keep everything on my computer still. So I copy, go back to my SD card, and then paste. And what you're going to do is you're, gonna, you're right now you're putting your ROM onto your SD card. All you need is the update folder. So make sure you copy the update folder. Don't uh, unzip it and then just leave it how it is and then paste it onto your SD card. Alright, so our ROM is now on our SD card. Let's go ahead and uh, eject that. I started doing it, uh, ejecting it safely just for the simple fact that I've damaged a lot of SD cards by not safely removing my SD card. All right, so now you're gonna put your SD card back into your Toshiba Thrive. 
and then power down the device. All right, and to get into recovery, all I need to do is hold volume up and the power button at the same time. Once you feel it vibrate and see the screen come on, you can let go. Then you're gonna use the volume uh, keys to navigate. So use volume up once to, to the middle and then hit the power button to get into clockwork mod. This is your recovery image. All right, so now what we need to do is go to install zip from SD card. Then apply SD card slash update dot zip. Scroll all the way down to yes. And hit the power button to select. Now I always forget this and I know it's too late so I'm probably going to put a note or annotation in my video. But uh, make sure you do a Nandroid backup. I already, I already did one so I for completely forgot to put it into my uh, video. But do a Nandroid backup. All you're going to need to do is same thing. Go to Clockwork Mod and right when you let go of your uh, up volume and your power key and you, you enter the, uh, just the main page of Clockwork Mod. You're gonna go to backups and restore. Go to backup, and then uh, select. I think I think there might be one more option. I don't know. Just make sure you just get to backup, and then backup your system in case something goes wrong, and then you'll be able to restore back to your previous state. All right, so it is already installed. That was pretty quick. You're gonna to want to go back, and then reboot system now. Now, as always with anything that you flash onto your device, be it a ROM, kernel, anything of that nature, going back to stock, what have you, it might take a little while to boot up the first time, but that's just everything getting back together. Uh, every boot up after that, it might not take long at all. So just the first boot up might take a little longer than you expect it to. That's one thing you need to remember. All right, so that boot up took maybe a couple of minutes and that's it. So uh, like I said, just be patient and you will get there. I'm gonna set this up really quick and then I'll get right back to you guys so we could check out our final product. All right, so here we are, I am all set up. Let's go to our settings, about tablet. And there you go, build number right there. Let me zoom in. As you can see, it's the Dalenet OOM rooted ROM, uh, build number 0003. Android version is still 3.2.1. All right, so if you want to verify your super user, make sure everything is uh, all good. And you're going to want to go to apps, go to super user. All right, and you're going to press OK on that. Go to uh, press the monkey wrench that's on the top right of the uh, of the screen, and then go to SU binary. Uh, I forget. I'm sorry. I forget what it said. SU binary. Ver they don't have the version number right there. So check that, and then update. Hit allow. All right. So super user is there. It works. It was updated. We are good to go. All right, so that was it. Easy peasy. Uh, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and a comment down below. Also subscribe to this channel and my social networking sites, Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter, so you can keep up to date on all AC Syndicate TV news and video uploads. As always, this is Spotlight Guy. Thank you for watching. I'm signing out.